Hey guys, Brian here with Forest Farm Project. Today we're going to be setting up our Craig K5 Master System, getting it ready to build our cabinets. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, I've got my work surface that I'm attaching my K5 Master System to, clamped down to my track horses using the Automax clamps. That way I've got a nice solid work surface since we currently have no workbench in here, but that's about to change. But anyway, let's get to it. When you fully assemble this, you drop the screw trays on the side, and it's just under 24 inches long and just under 10 inches deep. So you want to get a piece of plywood at least 10 by 24. Mine is about 11 and a half by 34. That way I've got plenty of work surface. As you can see, I'm clamping it down on the sides. I don't have to worry about stuff getting in the way. So let's get to screwing it down and then we'll go through the features. All right, we want to make sure this system's nice and square. So I've taken the leaves off of it. I'm going to slide my square over. I am good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and secure this first part. You don't want to over torque these because they are going into plastic and it slides very easily as you can see. Got my clutch engaged so I don't over torque them. Now you just drop these down in those nice little dovetails and screw them the rest of the way down. All right, it's got 12 screws in it. I don't think this thing's gonna go anywhere. Now, just for reference, I'm using three quarter stock for this and inch and a quarter drywall screws. It's a perfect combination because it's just thick enough that the screws won't protrude through and it's a rigid surface. It's not gonna flex or bow on me with this system. All right, we're just getting this out for the first time, so there's still a bunch of stuff in these, but in these side trays, it comes with some hole plugs, uh, a spacer block, a stop block, and a screw depth guide. The other side has a sticker with your material thickness and screw length. You can stick it on the inside or outside of the tray. I would personally go to the inside because if you put it on the outside, it's going to get rubbed off over time. It's just a given. You've also got a, an adjustment, a nylon adjustment screw and a nut for the stop block, an Allen wrench for your stop collar, your drill bit and your six inch square drive for the Craig screws. On the front, you've got your vacuum port, which I would highly recommend using. It's gonna clean that out a lot faster, make it a lot easier to work and a lot more efficient. It's good for an inch and a quarter connection. First and foremost, you gotta get the depth right for the thickness material you're using. This block is really easy to adjust. All you do is grab this pin, pull out, and then as you see, you can adjust anywhere from your half inch all the way to your inch and a half. When you let go, push down, it locks in. It's a positive detent at each location. We're gonna go ahead and set it up for three quarter because that's the cabinet stock we're gonna be working with and we've still gotta set up the actual clamping device. We're gonna be working on cabinet grade material. So like I said, we've got it set at three quarter. I've got a piece of three quarter Advantech subfloor in here. It's the same thickness, so it's gonna be perfectly fine for this process. It's just what I had available. I don't have any three quarter cabinet stuff that's small yet. So in order to adjust your clamping mechanism, you have to pull the lever all the way down. As you can see, it's not reaching. So you depress this gray button, slide it forward till it touches. Now you have to keep pressure on the back of this and get the lever in your hand at the same time. You want to lift it up until you hear two clicks. One, two. Now that I've got that set, all I have to do is pull it back lock it down and my product is locked in place. It's not going anywhere. Really easy, really quick to adjust and get set up for whatever thickness material. Now let's see how it works with inch and a half material. I pop it loose, drop that off the side. I get my inch and a half. It's not gonna go at all, as you can see. So I'm gonna depress this gray button. I'm gonna slide this bad boy back as far as I can to make sure I've got plenty of clearance. When I get it in here, Lock it down. As you can see, it's not locked in place. I can still move it. So again, I'm going to depress the gray button, slide it forward as far as I can. Now I'm going to hold it in place. One, two clicks. Lock it down. I'm locked in rock solid. Now I've got it set for my proper thickness. If I wanted to drill in this inch and a half stock, I would just have to loosen it up, take the pressure off the block, 
raise it up to my inch and a half, then line it up, lock it down, I'm good to go, I can drill what I need. One nice thing Craig incorporated into this system is this large grip. It has a nice palm swell at the end, has dimples on it, so if you're hot and sweaty, you can still grab it even without a gloved hand and it's easy to grip, it's comfortable to grip. Your hand's not gonna get fatigued throughout the day if you're drilling a lot of pocket holes for a big project. It's gonna be really easy on you and let you keep working longer. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on setting up the K5 Master System. I think it's going to be a great system that's really going to help expedite our cabinet work. There's also other pieces that come in the K5 Master System kit, one of them being an Automax clamp, the other being a block that works with the Automax clamp. All you do is pull the block out for your, your drilling block, insert it into the portable block, and it makes it where you can work on large pieces that won't fit on this table, like if you're doing a 4x8 sheet of plywood or if you have to go work on something else. So. Really good system. We'll show you these other parts in use as we get to them, but right now we just wanted to get it set up and ready to use for building our cabinets so we can finally get this kitchen done and then get back out on the property and start building our two houses. Then you'll really see this thing go to use because we've got cabinets to build for two houses. We've got some furniture to build for both houses. There's a whole world of stuff. Plus we're gonna be building a wood shop and we're gonna be using it on a regular basis. So like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We definitely enjoyed making it. Check back soon. We're gonna to get to building those cabinets. Have a good one, guys.